welcome back guys in this video i will be explaining that how you can lock any of your drive on windows 10 and windows 11 with any of the drive i mean local disk c d e whichever you want to so let's quickly get it started so first i will show you that how you can lock your c drive in order to lock your c drive you need to make a right click on it then click on turn on bit locker now once you click on it you will be getting this kind of error message that this device can't use a trusted platform module your administrator must set the allow bit locker without a compatible tpm option okay so for this what you will have to do click on the window search type gp edit click on edit group policy now in case if you're using the windows 10 or 11 home edition you won't be able to open the group policy editor so for that i have already created a video that how you can enable gp edit on your windows 10 or 11 home edition you can watch that video and once it's been enabled in the gp edit you have to click on administrative template under computer configuration then look for windows component now on the right hand side you have to look for bit locker drive encryption double click on it and then here click on operating system drives double click on it and let me just drag it to the right so that you can read it carefully so now here you will be getting an option require additional authentication at a startup you have to look for this option double click on it now it will be set to not configured you have to select to enabled then click on apply and then click on ok and now you can close it and now this time and again if i make a right click on the local disc c choose turn on bit locker so you can see the error has been disappeared and now i can easily lock this drive so in the next step it will ask you choose how to unlock your drive at the startup now you have to be careful because this drive contains the operating system and the next time whenever you will reboot your computer it will be asking for the bit locker password okay so you can choose this option click on enter a password then you can type your desired password reconfirm it and then you have to click on next now it will ask you how do you want to back up a recovery key so this is a very important part now it says either you can save to your microsoft account so if you have any microsoft account linked to your computer then you can choose this option you can also save to a usb flash drive so if you have any kind of usb flash drive for your operating system then you can also install it there uh, you can also save a file like to any particular location wherever you want to save so on this end what i will choose save to your microsoft account as my microsoft account has been already connected and it would be easier for me to recover the password from the microsoft account you can also choose save to a file option then it will ask you the location wherever you want to save and then you can save it it will be saved in a text document so that you can easily view it all right so once you are done you have to click on next and then it will ask choose how much of your drive to encrypt so it says encrypt used disk space only faster and best for new pc and drives so what basically it is telling that do you want to encrypt the used space only or the other option is that you want to encrypt the entire drive so it's all up to you now here you can choose either the used disk space or you can encrypt the entire drive all right so i will go with the first option then you have to click on next and then the procedure will be started and it will take about some time and the drive will be encrypted okay so this was the first method for your local disk c now let's say that if you want to lock any of your other drive like d e f then it's very simple make a right click on it choose turn on bit locker now it will ask you that use a password to unlock the drive check this option type your password reconfirm it then you have to click on next now again it will ask you how do you want to back up your recovery key so you can choose any of the option then click on next again it will ask you the same instruction you want to encrypt the whole uh, drive or only the used disk space so i will keep this to use disk space only then click on next now this will give you another two option choose which encryption mode to use 
New encryption mode, best for fixed drive on this device or compatible mode, best for drive that can be moved from this device. So if you want that in the future, if you want to move your drive from your computer, so you can go with the second option or you can choose the first option. Then you have to click on next. Basically, you can go with the first one. If you don't want to remove your drive from your computer, click next. And then it will ask you finally that are you ready to encrypt this drive? Then you have to click on start encrypting. And depending that how much data you have, the encryption will be completed. So now you can see the drive has been logged with the lock icon on it. Now, after doing this, it's recommended that you should go ahead and restart your computer. So let me quickly restart. OK, so the computer has been now restarted. And if I again open the file explorer, this PC, so you can see that disk has been locked. And now if I make a double click on it, this will be asking for the password. So hopefully guys, this video will surely help you to understand that how you can lock any of your drive on your Windows 10 or 11. And if you found this video helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.